Make sure you're wearing headphones whenever you listen to this or any of the sound particles tutorials. It's really important because we'll be listening to most of the sound in binaural sound, meaning it'll appear to be in surround with objects being in front of you and behind you. When you first open up sound particles, you have this new project screen. And something that's really great about it is you have a bunch of templates, which you can use to start projects. But it's also a really good way to see what you can do with sound particles, or at least that's what I'm going to use it for. Um, and so we have all the templates here. And as you select a template, you'll see an explanation of what it is up in this little viewfinder. You're going to see what's happening. So right now, this little guy in the middle is dark blue dot is the microphone. And this light blue dot is the object. So right now this object is passing by the microphone. The microphone, and this is just for playback in listening to the templates, you can choose by listening as just a mono, as a stereo, 5.1, 7.1, all the way up to Oro 3D. But let's take a listen to some of these things just to kind of hear you know, what we can do with this. So I'm just gonna go to Big City because that's I think a really good example of what you can do with sound particles. So the Big City, it's a particle emitter. Okay, so what that means by particle emitter is it takes one sound you put in or several sounds and creates a bunch of those instances of the sounds that are slightly varied a little bit, slightly varied in pitch, slightly varied in volume, and slightly varied in the space as well as the movement. So this sound, the original sound is just a car. And if we hit template, it's going to play it through the particle system. So you can see how it just took that one car and it just multiplied it so we suddenly had a bunch of cars around us which is a really nice base for a city sound if you want sort of just the sound of cars all around you let's take a listen to another one now let's listen to bats flying out of a cave so this is several particles coming from a single point moving from front to back so the original is again the car but listen through the template We have the cars coming by the microphone at different varied pitches, varied volumes, and as they pass the microphone, we're getting that Doppler sound. That Doppler sound is when the pitch changes as something passes you. So that's just sort of a quick idea of what you can do with sound particles. And you can start with templates or you can just start with a empty project, um, which primarily we'll be doing, but I would suggest that you play around with a lot of these templates just to hear what they do with different sounds that you have. The reason we're using sound particles pretty much almost exclusively now for the rest of the semester is first of all, because it's the license is free for students, which is really awesome. Um, but secondly, because it allows us to work in the surround field and hear it in the surround field. Because what happens is if I change this to, let's change it to Adobe Atmos 9.1. Right now, what this is gonna do is simulate having three speakers in front, an array of speakers on the side, speakers in back, as well as two height speakers. And uh, it's going to decode it binaurally, meaning it'll sound like the objects are behind us or in front of us. And just to give you an example of how this works, I'm just gonna go to the test speakers template. And what this is, is just right, this piece of music just going around us. All right, so I'm gonna hit template and let's hear what it sounds like.
Okay, you can see how you're really getting the sense that the object is in front of us, on the sides of us, behind us. And that's what makes it really awesome um, to be able to use the sound particles program in this class, which is really based around, or supposed to be based around mixing in an immersive sound or surround environment. So let's just take a uh, listen to one or two others of the ones we already listened to, but in the Dolby Atmos microphone type as opposed to stereo. So let's take a listen to Big City. So now, as opposed to listening in stereo, we're going to get more of a sense of depth. So in other words, these objects are going to sound a little bit more like they're behind us, or the bats flying out of the cave. So hopefully you can see how this is really a great way to work in an immersive environment, but also work with sound in terms of particles, which is sort of like sound physics. I mean, in a lot of ways I think it should be called sound physics instead of sound particles, although sound physics isn't very sexy sounding. But you'll see as we work through it, it really is about taking a sound and applying a lot of real world properties to it. So multiplying it and slightly varying the pitch, slightly varying the volume, varying the distance, the movement. And this is what allows us to create bigger, fuller, richer environments.